Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm back to review another ICO. I wanna clarify that just like the rest of my content besides interviews, the ICO videos are not sponsored content. I'm receiving no reimbursement for covering this project. I'm doing so because I either find it interesting, someone's requested it, or quite frankly, I feel that covering ICOs is important, so I'm here to do that. Disclaimer, this project is an ICO, so it's still very much in development. Please always do your own research. As usual, I'm not a financial advisor, all investments have inherent risk, and my videos are for entertainment purposes only. Lastly, if you'd like to support my channel and you like my t-shirt, you can pick one up on my website. This one in particular, I actually drew for Mav from Ready Set Crypto. If you don't know who he is, you should go check out his channel. He's pretty cool. He always starts all his videos with, uh, this is your brain on blockchain, and so I made a brain on blockchain. Also, if you're interested in becoming one of my patrons, I'll leave the link down below for that as well. And and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put out content pretty frequently and I'd hate for anyone to miss out. Perlin is a scalable DAG or directed acyclic graph based blockchain that offers a decentralized computational layer with the use of its avalanche consensus protocol. Perlin's goal is to create a decentralized cloud computing marketplace which delivers massive computational throughput while aiming to reduce the cost of computational power. This marketplace would allow users and the suppliers to buy and sell computational resources within a trustless environment. A big component of this project is that the fact that it doesn't use traditional blockchain tech, so let me go over what a DAG is very quickly. Bitcoin uses blockchain tech, which works in a sequential way and gives its users the ability to trace back any block within a written ledger. To visualize blockchain technology, it looks something like a list or a list of items in a sequential order, which is why it's called a ledger. Where a directed acyclic graph, or DAG, is a different type of structure entirely. It's an implementation of a graph and all the nodes are pointing in the same direction and no element can reference back to itself. It's a tree-like structure which is similar to a file directory where folders contain subfolders which branch off into other subfolders and so on. Unlike Bitcoin or Ethereum, DAG powered networks allow the creation of parallel nodes as long as everything flows in the same direction. This opens up a lot of possibilities. Out of the team. So Dorji Sun is the project manager and co-founder. He's a serial entrepreneur who's most famous for founding the Carbon Conservation, which is a social enterprise that helps to facilitate carbon credit deals, which has led in the preservation of large areas of the rainforest. He also serves as an advisor to other crypto projects like Santiment, Republic Protocol, and Loki. Kenta Lawaska is the CTO. Kenta is a software engineer, game programmer, robotics engineer, and a serial technical entrepreneur. He has experience with distributed systems and machine learning. Before Perlin, Kenta worked with Navicorp as an artificial intelligence researcher and at DJI as a robotics engineer. There are a lot of other members of the team, which you can go find if you're interested, they are listed on the website. Next up is their ICO and their token metrics. So the Perlin network will be fueled by a token called Perl, and it's gonna start off as an ERC-20 token. Their token will serve three main purposes. As a currency for payment transaction, Perl's circulator will be used to facilitate fees incurred by customers for access and computing resources. The second is for mining. Users will be able to earn Perl's providing computational power to customers through the network. And three, validator incentives. Perl's will be paid to validators who verify and broadcast broadcast transactions onto the network. In total, 1 billion pearls will be minted and they will be released based off the total computing power available in the Perlin network. The breakdown of their sales are as follows. From December of 2017 to January of 2018, they had their seed sale in which 20% of the tokens were issued. The token price was 4 cents with a 12 month vesting period from the time of the token generation event. From April to May of 2018, they had their strategic sale in which 20% of their tokens were issued at 12 cents each and a six month vesting period started from the public sale. And then their final private sale was from June to July of 2018, in which 7.5% of the tokens were sold at a price of 20 cents each with a three month lockup from the time of an exchange listing. Out of the tech. So how does this project work and or function? Perlin uses the Avalanche protocol, which adopts the concept of metastability to provide high throughput and scalability. If I'm being honest, it took me quite a bit of research to try to wrap my head around this concept. The Avalanche protocol claims to be entirely different than pre-existing protocols because it's what's referred to as leaderless. Unlike in proof-of-stake systems where there's a leader or a validator that finds consensus within the nodes, the leaderless avalanche protocol sort of steers all the nodes into consensus without one entity doing it on its own. It does this by using the concept of metastability basically meaning subquorums or small randomized samples from nodes on the network. These can reach consensus in parallel and this allows for higher throughput on the network. Those subquorums will eventually converge and come to an overarching unified consensus. Quick definition on a quorum. It's basically the smallest number of people or representatives that need to be present in order for a decision to be valid. Just from this concept, I can see how Perlin is boasting transaction speeds of 1600 achieved on 2000 nodes. The DAG allows for more physical nodes on the network, while the Avalanche protocol itself allows 
for those nodes to reach consensus faster, both components allowing for parallel growth. It's an awesome concept, especially when you take into consideration that the largest limiting factor for blockchain tech right now is scalability and speed. The two major components of Perlin are the proof of compute availability and their decentralized computing layer. To establish a trustless computing market, a supplier must be able to prove that they truly own a batch of available computational resources before delivering or selling them to another party. The proof of compute portion is the mechanism that's used to determine the true amount of computing power a supplier actually possesses. The decentralized computer layer is the native layer that collects idle computing resources from devices on the network and uses the virtual machine instances to operate those. Perlin states that the goal with this methodology is to achieve better security, privacy, and performance. Prior to getting into crypto, I'd never heard of a virtual machine. But basically, a virtual machine is just an emulation of a computer system. Virtual machines are based on computer architectures and provide functionality of a physical computer and may involve specialized hardware, software, or a combination of the two. Perlin is made up of three categories, the miners, the customers, and the validators. Miners, they're the supply side of the network. Miners supply computing power to the ecosystem, solving computational tasks. The customers, the demand side of the network. They're the buyers of the ecosystem that require resources to execute computational tasks. And lastly, the validators. They're the accountants that keep track of transactions between miners and customers through Ledger. These miners are elected and earn commissions when they verify and broadcast transactions successfully. Perlin also supports smart contracts, dApps, and has an encrypted mechanism that provides research and developers with the option for controlled authority on the data that they utilize within the computational resources. Basically, that means that Perlin also supports some level of privacy within the network. Their website is really informative and lists quite a bit of information, including all of the advisors. The list is pretty vast, so I'm just gonna mention two people, but if you wanna read the rest, I would suggest going to the website. I'll leave the link down below. Vincent Zhao is the first advisor, and he's a founding partner of FBG Capital. FBG Capital is a digital assets management firm in blockchain pay capital markets. And their second big advisor is Michael Arlington. He's the co-founder of Crunch Fund and the founder of TechCrunch. As far as investors go, they're pretty stacked. Again, the list is very long, so I'll name drop a couple of them, but if you're really interested, go on the website. The first is FPG Capital, which I mentioned before, and the second is GBIC. GBIC is a global hub for blockchain technology that furthers the development, acceleration, and the launch of blockchain projects. The third is Bitmain, which is a privately owned company which focuses on the designing of ASICs chips and is the operator of one of the largest and most active Bitcoin mining pools. On to the competition. First up would be the Gollum network. Perlin and Gollum have essentially the same priorities, which is to utilize unused computing power. Recently, I also covered Anchor, which is another ICO, and it's very similar as well in goals, but different in its execution. Sonom is also similar as they state that they're trying to create a supercomputer. Outside of crypto projects would be the big guys like Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. These companies definitely hold monopolies on cloud computing, and it's gonna be tough to disrupt. But that being said, crypto's overall goal is disrupting the norms. What's on the roadmap for Perlin? The project was first created in December 2017, and their upcoming dates aren't really quite set in stone yet. But the team states that the testnet should be released around September of this year, and the mainnet in early Q1 of next year. Final thoughts. Perlin identifies, confirms, and validates unused computing power and allows others to capitalize on it for a cost. The movement towards decentralized cloud computing has really taken off, and there are a ton of projects attempting this. However, I am impressed by Perlin's use of DAG technology coupled with the Avalanche Consensus Protocol to go about solving this problem in a new and pretty creative way. The biggest hurdle I see is definitely competition. That being said, they're doing something different and not quite like the rest, so I don't know if they have any direct competition. Another hurdle that should be considered is how difficult it's gonna to be to get mass amounts of smartphones, computers, and other gadgets to be permanently committed to the network. I'm sure this is a problem that a lot of the other projects are also running into. All in all, I look forward to the progress that the project is going to make, and I'm definitely interested in seeing what real-life transaction speeds and confirmation times they end up having. All right, guys, that about sums it up for me today and this ICO review. As usual, I want to thank everybody who's been watching, liking, and subscribing. My channel growth is all thanks to you, and I super appreciate it. Anyways, I will see you guys soon.